Bush. Ah, yeah. Hello, I'm Rugdago9, and this is my final review for Shameful Dog Productions, and I thought I'd go in as I came out doing a, uh, a review on an incredibly shitty game. This week, I'm doing Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. And uh, what can I say about this? Apart from it's one of the most horrendous games I have ever played in my life. And where to start? Uh, the game itself controls well. It plays a little bit like Smash TV uh, using the thumbsticks um, to aim and shoot. The main problem is it is just so monotonous. I mean, you are just going through the this basically the same level over and over again. Yeah, okay, it looks different. But by God, it's just completely pointless. I mean, I've, I've had this game now for quite some time and I still haven't completed this shitty fucking thing because there's no damn point. I just can't be bothered. Also, who creates a Ghostbusters game without actually having the original Ghostbusters in it? I mean, by Christ, why the fuck would I want to play as a bunch of people I have no fucking clue who they are? I want to play like the original uh, Ghostbusters game. Well, I say the original Ghostbusters game, the game that came out uh, in 2009 with, you know, as the actual Ghostbusters. That's what I want to do. That was fun. This is not... This has got a terrible, terrible storyline. Um, boring characters. Uh, shitty cutscenes, quite frankly. Of sometimes quite horrendous drawings that you're just... Bleh. But now I'm starting to nitpick about tiny little things. Uh, another problem, major problem with uh, the game is the AI. Both friendly and fucking enemy AI. Uh, friendly AI practically do uh, no da well, seemingly no damage to the ghost. Um, and... You know, when you get knocked down, they either pick you up really quickly, or on the other hand, they just leave you there, and then go get fucking killed themselves. The enemy AI, on the other hand, is a complete mismatch. If you're playing by yourself, every single bastard on the screen wants you dead, completely ignoring the other three knobs on the screen. No, no, it's all about you. So what do they do? They all rush you. And quite frankly, it, it just ups the, it adds an unnecessary difficulty level to this fucking game. It's just not that good to begin with, and quite frankly, a waste of fucking Microsoft points. If you've bought this game already, I feel sorry for you. If you are planning on buying this game, don't, for the love of God, save your money. Buy something else, buy something good, buy something fun, buy something interesting. But for fuck's sake, don't buy this. It's honestly quite difficult to describe how fucking irritating this game can be. But I promised myself I'd keep this, uh, keep this review short. So, I'm done. I'm probably going to have to go... Uh, drink something, just to get this fucking vile piece of shit out of my memory again. It's been wonderful. I'm Rugger9. Peace out, bitches.